adventures, it's Ramen Quest and the Yamanote Trail. Yoyogi Station, opened in 1906, originally by a private company as part of the Chuo Line, it was taken over as part of the National JR Line within a week. Yoyogi Station is very close to the busy Harajuku Station and Yoyogi Park, making it a good stop if you want to visit the park, but avoid the shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder traffic of Harajuku. Yoyogi also features its own laid-back, classy style. To really explore the feeling of Yoyogi, I went to Ferro Cafe. Ferro means lighthouse in Italian, and was inspired to be an industrial-style calm space. With large delicious sandwiches and fancy coffee, it is a beacon of quiet in a bustling city. To further our sense of calm, one can slip over to the oasis of Yoyogi Village. A small shopping center combining environmental design, architecture, and a unique food experience. The interior garden was designed by Seijun Nishihata, a fifth generation master gardener who hand selected distinctive plants from around the world to craft Yoyogi Village's natural atmosphere. The ground floor of Yoyogi Village mostly features restaurants and cafes, with the second floor open to free space and a few small specialty lifestyle shops. Gotcha, your umbrella's in the way. I got a decaf Earl Grey. You decaf. After my trip to Yoyogi, I decided to take a little break and visit my friends down at Sunday Replay, who were recording today. The this, office. This is my office. I have my, my pencil. And I have, I have my energy drink for my very difficult job. Okay, good. Yeah, you did. And I have many things. The monster burger overwatching us all. He is the overlord. Do more. I'll start some this. As a place in between two bustling stations, Yoyogi is a softer oasis of calm that is well worth a visit. See you next time! Thanks, adventurers! Next on the trail, Shinjuku! Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is TMI, my dear. Oh, that's oh, that's yes. No. Yes, you can stop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you like that.